Hey there, it's Linda in Belize. Are you thinking of coming to Belize from Canada? Let's talk about flights. They're easy to do in the winter time, but what about in off season like now in October? Let's take a look. So now I want to look at some of the options for different flights and what they cost. So on Air Canada, I can go in there and check a trip from Calgary to Belize City. I'm going to pick Friday, December 8th to 15th, just to show an example of what a price might look like. And also the options for the different days of the week you could go. So on Air Canada, on Friday, December 8th, it's 281 Canadian dollars on the way out. So that's really affordable for the one way. And there's a stop in Toronto, a two hour and 36 layover. So I'm gonna click that and see what this looks like. Now my return trip is a little more expensive. It's $500, again, the Toronto connection. So I'm just gonna click this to see what our total fare is going to be. Okay, so you can see here we have Calgary to Toronto to Belize and then back for a one week trip. Our total flight is 781 Canadian dollars. Now what I wanna show is what the flights look like in slow season. Right now it's October. So I'm gonna again go from Calgary to Belize City and I'm gonna pick sometime in October. So right now we're on October 2nd. So I'm gonna pick a little bit of way out the 21st to the 28th as an example. And when I go into here, you're gonna see the problem that many Canadians find. And basically what that is, is that there are no flights available during this time on Air Canada. So anytime in October, if you scroll, you'll see nothing. And this is commonly the case in different airlines. So Air Canada is like this, and WestJet will tell you right when you're booking that they only have flights from November to about April, although next year it's until May. So I'm not gonna demonstrate WestJet because it's the same thing, there's nothing available. Now the interesting thing I wanted to talk about with this is the fact that Air Canada is part of Star Alliance as is United Airlines in the US. Now, what I wanna show next is how I actually got to Belize on this trip from Alberta. So I never would have looked at United in the past for this type of search, but now I know that I should. So here if I do the Calgary to Belize for the same dates as Air Canada, October 21st to 28th, you're gonna see here that there are options that we didn't have. So this connection here is the one I just did a week ago. So 6 a.m. from Calgary, stop over in Houston for less than just under an hour, get into Belize at 1.28 p.m. And you can see here that the basic economy, which is the most restrictive flight, is $670. So this is a great deal because it's even better than what we saw in December for Air Canada. Now one thing, I want to tell you so first of all here's the round trip it's uh, another connection in Houston for just two hours and 11 minutes so you can see here that my total flight on United is going to be this well it's going to be 669 16 Canadian so as I mentioned it's cheaper than the December option now the other thing I want to show you next is how you could know what the best airline might be is it United Air Canada WestJet Delta what are the different options and obviously that might that's going to be different depending on the dates that you're going. So instead where I always go to look up a trip for the first time is into Google Flights. So Google Flights is great because I can pick any destination. So I've picked Calgary to Belize the same dates, the 21st to the 28th. Here you can see we have four options coming up. Three of them are with United, but the first two are two stops, which we don't really generally want. Um, they're $5.49, a bit cheaper, but the one we found on United here is listed. So same price, $6.70 that we saw on United directly. Sometimes I'll find Google Flights a little different when I go into the actual airline. It might have changed slightly or be a little different, but here we get a good idea that this flight would be our best option because obviously it's the only one with one stops and it's still kind of cheaper than this last option, which is WestJet and Delta with two stops for more money. And also, as I mentioned, WestJet, if you go on their website, they won't show you any flights to Belize in off season. So this one, if you clicked on it, if it was a good, the best option for you, you would have to book that on Delta. Now, the other thing I'd like 
about this Google Flights option is it kind of tells you how the prices compare to normal. So it says here prices are currently low. It's $142 Canadian cheaper than usual for your search. So typically you're not going to be paying $549 for a ticket. You'll be paying something more like around $700. So that's uh, kind of an interesting thing if you're planning your trip. The other thing I wanted to talk about too is the fact that if you don't know what date you want to travel, you can actually click the calendar and see where the cheapest options are. So if I was like, well, I don't know when I want to go, maybe October, November. Oh, look at this, November 3rd is 428. So I can click there and then go, oh, on the 10th there's a 428 as well. So let's just click that one to see what that looks like. Well, there you go, United. Now, the United option is two stops for 428, so I might go, oh, I don't really like that overnight. But here's the non-stop flight, which WestJet is flying then in November, so it's really quick in comparison, five hours and 48 minutes non-stop, but that price is 791. So certainly you can kind of see the different options here. Here's the one stop in Houston, but it's an overnight then with United, but it's cheap too, 519. So basically this just allows you to see all the different options. And once we get in November, as you see, we have a lot more options of connections. So hopefully this helps if you're planning a trip to Belize and you're not sure of how the best way to get here is or the time of year that is the best to come. A lot of people do like to come in off season because it's way less busy and things tend to be a little bit more affordable. Although note that some things are closed. So right now we're in October and we have a pickleball camp going on right now. And the reason the resort had it now is because of the fact that it's less busy. So if you're planning a trip to Belize, maybe to consider moving here, reach out to me because we have tours showing people Ambergris Key, Placencia and Hopkins. And I hope to see you soon in Belize.